In this lesson, we are going to use the order of operations to solve this expression. Okay, so the order of operations. To remember the order of operations, I remember, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And I know these are parentheses, E is for exponents. I multiply and divide from left to right, and then I add and subtract from left to right. And you can write this on your paper, and just remember, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay, so I'm going to go in order of operations. First, I'm going to look for parentheses, and I see I have parentheses. So my next step in my expression is going to be three plus, I'm not doing anything with that, but I'm going to do this. Six times two is 12. I've evaluated the parentheses, and I'm going to leave everything else the same. Okay, so that is my parentheses. Now I look, I have no more parentheses. Do I have exponents? I do. Two to the third, so I'm going to evaluate two to the third. Two to the third is two times two times two, and two to the third is two times two is four, four times two is eight. So I'm going to evaluate instead of two to the third, I have eight. So I'm going to leave three plus 12 minus two to the third is eight, divided by two. So I have, I've done my exponents. Now I look to see if there's any multiplication or division and I do that from left to right. I see that there is division. This division is right here, eight divided by two. So I'm going to leave everything else, three plus 12 minus, and just do eight divided by two is four, okay? So I look, is there any more multiplication or division? There is not, so now I add and subtract from left to right. I have to do the three plus 12 first. Three plus 12 is 15 minus four. Now all I have left is subtraction, so 15 minus four is 11. So the answer to this whole expression is 11. And it's the end of our lesson on order of operations.